Having SEFQ here is an opportunity for our students to really gain an understanding of financial literacy. Uh, one thing that I think students struggle with oftentimes is, is having a clear and concise understanding of uh, what it means to have to pay the bills. I don't think they had an idea of what things do cost just to, I mean, a house for instance, things for things they like, want to do for fun, and I don't think they had any idea of some of that before they had this exercise. The students, I, I think, are absolutely shocked by two things. One is that positions maybe don't pay as much as they thought they did. Secondly, I think students also comment uh, at great length about all of the bills that they didn't realize existed, such as car insurance cell phone bills and food and just how expensive those things are. Once they begin to see that this salary that they thought was initially a good salary, they learn that it doesn't stretch quite as far as they initially thought it was going to. I one time saw a poster that said, no skills, no frills. And I think that is uh, as true today as it's ever been. Like whether that's college or whether that's trade school, whatever that may be, whatever that may mean to you, you need to possess a certain set of skills in order to make the kind of income that's going to allow you to have the life that you have envisioned. And my hope is at the end of the day that, that my students realize that. And that's a twofold win. Uh, firstly, it's a win because our students say, wait a minute, I better work hard in school in order to get to where I want to be. And uh, secondly, I think they have to understand that I have to work hard in life. So when school's out and school's over, now I have to work equally as hard in a career to be successful. When our seventh grade students did, we posted on Facebook exactly what we were doing. We had pictures and the feedback was outstanding. So many parents had made comments about what a great activity. And I'm certain our parents feel it more than anybody else because our, our children come home and they want a $20 bill or they want this new video game system that costs $500 and it's, you know, where does this money come from? Where does it derive from? And, and so to put that on Facebook and for our parents to say, oh my goodness, now my child finally sees what I have to go through or what I endure to provide the things that he or she wishes to have. Um, we just received a tremendous amount of feedback from the community on what a great endeavor this is and how beneficial it is for our kids. I, I hope more than anything else, our students gain an understanding that it takes hard work to earn the kind of income that you need to pay the bills and to own the things that you'd like to have in life. And so for our students to have an opportunity to, to, to do that in a live environment is absolutely invaluable. And uh, we couldn't be happier to have SEFQ here uh, to be a part of that with us.